I'm going to talk about how to develop independence with your two hands when you're improvising on the piano. How to get your left hand independent from your right hand. It's one of the basic goals that we start trying to achieve when we're playing solo piano. And it's what makes solo piano a lot of fun. You sit down by yourself and get some really creative ideas working. You want to get this left hand to stay steady while the right hand's doing all the interesting melodic development. As you keep developing, the left hand does a lot of different things. It's not just staying steady, but the place we'll start with is trying to get the left hand to behave and do something that's repetitive over and over while the right hand is dancing around creating melodies and interesting harmonies with the left hand. Now this lesson is directed at people who already play the piano, whether it's a little bit or a lot. Maybe you studied when you were really young or you're still studying right now. You play classical music and you'd like to learn how to improvise. I've got lessons also for the very beginning people who never played piano, just starting out and want to know how to improvise also. But here I'm going to assume that you already know how to play on some level. We're going to be breaking things down very simply, starting with a real basic left hand movement and doing something simple in the right hand. We're going to ask our left hand to play two notes over and over in a steady rhythm. Seems simple enough. It's a C and a G. Then we're going to play something based on a C scale in the right hand, all the white notes. What we're going to do is learn how to tap our hands and our fingers with independent movements, like one hand's going to be steady while the other hand's moving, and then we're going to do something with our fingers. Let's step into the kitchen and do it. First, let's develop independence with our entire hands, and then we'll break it down and do independence with our fingers. We're going to get our left hand tapping like this. This hand will go steady. So we're going to ask our right hand to independently tap two times for every time this hand taps. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Easy enough? Okay, now let's ask the right hand to go three taps for every tap of the left hand. In other words, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the left hand will keep going steady like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now let's go back to two taps for every tap of the left hand. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And alternate going back to three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Back to two. One, two, one, two, one, two. But the left hand's going to always keep going, and we stopped with our right hand. It might also be a good brain exercise to try to speak like I'm doing. See if you can keep your left hand tapping steady and talk at the same time. You might try this when you're talking on the telephone or talking to friends. Here we go again. Two taps. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'll alternate back and forth without pausing. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we'll take the same concept, but instead of using our entire hands, we'll break it down and use our individual fingers. We're going to ask our fingers in our right hand to go individually, one at a time. One, two, three. Just with these three fingers. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you play piano already, this won't be a difficult exercise, but if you don't play, it'll take some time to get this coordination going. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and speed it up just a little bit. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And likewise, when we tap two times, we'll just use these two fingers. One, 
two, one, two, one, two. Going back to these three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's our right hand. Our left hand, let's take the little finger and the thumb. And we're going to ask it to go one, two, one, two. And you can rotate your wrist just a little bit. It doesn't matter, however you're comfortable getting this action going. So it's little finger, thumb, one, two, one, two. Rotating back and forth. Now we'll get the right hand to tap two times for every one of these taps with the left hand. The left hand's always rotating back and forth. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just using these fingers, these two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now we'll take three, these three fingers. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Back to two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Back to three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Developing left hand and right hand independence and getting them to work in tandem is also a good brain food. Healthy for the brain, they say, to get the left hand and the right hand activity working together and independently. We hear a lot about this as we get older. Let's take the movements we learned on the tabletop and put them on the piano. Our left hand was rocking back and forth with little finger thumb like this. We're going to take the same movement and put it down here with our little finger on C and our thumb on G. It's the outline of a C major chord. And we're going to rock back and forth. Let's add our right hand. We'll start with our basic movement using the thumb and index finger. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're in the key of C and we can use any of these white notes for our improvisation. Let's just start here on, on B just to give us a starting point. And we're going to play these two notes. And we'll play them with the left hand added in rocking back and forth. Let's continue along in small steps. Once you get comfortable with this basic movement of the left hand rocking and the right hand hitting two notes, the next thing we're going to do is move our right hand. Let's move it down just the next two notes here, playing an A and a B. And continue to move it down, this time on G. movements you're requiring the first seeds of improvisation. Our left hand is going to stay steady, independent of the right hand. This is going to be the most important thing is the left hand starts to develop the steadiness. It's independent. You can talk while the left hand's going and you can play something in prayer while the left hand's going. This hand just keeps steady. What's interesting with improvisation is the more dexterity you have and the more agility on the piano, the more interesting your improvisations can be, especially your right hand. It's the one that's moving around a lot and the left hand stays steady. We're using this idea. There's a lot of similar ideas that we use on the piano, but the right hand, the more agility it acquires, it can do all of these interesting things. We're starting very simple with our basic movement and we'll build from there.